Are you okay? So we're going to carry on with the with the videos. So these are like GCSE, uh, like your circle theorems, aren't they? So we know that the angle on a semicircle, so if you're using the diameter, then you're going to create a right angle, aren't you? So right angle. This one's a little bit sneaky. If you have a chord, so a line that touches the edge of the circle in two places, the perpendicular bisector will go through the center of your circle. So if you had like three points on a circle's edge, if you got the two perpendicular bisectors, it would actually go through the center of your circle. In theory, you did that at GCSE, because I used to teach you at GCSE higher, but you probably did on something again. Right, so we've got another one here about a tangent. So we've got tangents at right angles here, haven't we? So if it just touches a circle, it'll fire off. Uh, so a tangent. Oops. Well, I need a new pen nib, really. It's perpendicular to the radius. There. There we go. So that's your tangent. And that's your radius. Right. So it says points A, B, and D lie on the circle, such that A, B, D is a right angle. Hence, find the equation. Right, so. I'll have a look. So I've got my circle. So 1, 5, 2, 4. So 1, 5 is going to be left and above. 2, 4, and then 7, 9. Uh, so let's go with. So A is 1, 5. This is a dodgy looking circle, isn't it? It needs to be a better circle, really. Uh, B, is two, oh, B is 2, 4. Now it tells you that B is the right angle. So whichever way I do this, that's got to be the right angle now, is it? And then D is 7, 9. You'll be able to draw a nicer um, picture than me. Mine's quite shocking, really. Now we know, if that's the right angle triangle, that that there will be a diameter. So we know that that will be the centre. So I want the equation of the circle. So what I need to do is find the center and find the radius. So to find the center, I'm looking at the midpoint. And to find the radius, I could, oh, I'm just going to work out a, a length, aren't I? So I'll calculate the length. You could do the length of A to D and then half it. Right, so very quickly, let's work out the midpoint then. So the midpoint is 1 plus 7 over 2, 5 plus 9 over 2. So that's going to be 4, comma 7. So I've got the centre. So if I do the radius, it's going from A15 through to, let's call it C, C47, then the change going across is 3, the change going up or down is 2. So that's going to be another root 13, isn't it? Is that right? I think I'm rushing this, that I have stuff. So that's for root 13. So I've got a circle is x minus 4 squared, y minus 7 squared is 13. Right, so I've done this bit here. What I didn't do is this bit here. I've got 30 seconds left. I'm going to find the grade that's going to pause it. I'm going to find the gradients from A to B and then B to D. Are you ready? Hang on. So in all my excitement, I forgot to do the first part, which was to show that it's right angled. So I've done the gradients there. I'm going to pause it again because I've only got 10 seconds left on this video. So I've got my two gradients. There you go. So I've missed that off. Do you know what? I've got so carried away. But I've done my two gradients and I've shown that the perpendicular so it must be right angled. With three seconds left, so you should pause it.